All right, welcome back everyone to another episode on Pocket SMP. Uh, you might notice the terrain is slightly different. I flattened this area quite a bit. Uh, it's mainly just stone and uh, grass now. Uh, I might build something over here. I'm not really sure. I I don't really have like plans for this area. Oh yeah, by the way, so at time of recording, uh, two days ago I think it was, I was over here just about to go up this path and I saw this. Uh, I did not put this there, so, and it's been like this, sorry, for like a couple of days, just random brick blocks in what looks like the start of a rectangle, although it is incomplete. So I'm not sure if someone planned to start building here, and in the end never did. Uh, I don't have a problem with it, because I mean, you know, it's an SMP, as long as you're not like encroaching big time on someone else's space, you, sh you yeah, you, you're surely free to build where you want. Um, so, I mean, as long as there's no, like, big structures built over here, it's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just find that fairly interesting. So this episode, I have got a redstone project in mind. Actually, this redstone project will be slightly hard because I don't have any slime. Uh, and I need one... Two, three, four, five, six. I need six slime in order to make this work. It's fine because we've got looting three sword, uh, so it should be easier to get slime. But we need to go visit the swamp at night time. Uh, actually, one thing we can make, which will be very helpful, is a clock. So let's go do that right now. Ta da! So now we can tell the exact time, which is good because I got sun turned off here and I cannot see what time of day it is. So, late in the night, we are going on a journey. We are going to the swamp. Oh look, there's an enderman. And there's a swamp. I'm hoping that... Uh, some slime will spawn. I'll be honest, I'm not confident. I don't think I've seen a slime on this map before. And I don't think there's any for sale. But, we'll just have to see what we see. It's a bunch of these horses. I should have brought a saddle and taken one back with me. Come on, one big slime is all it needs. One big slime. Maybe if I switch swamp colours on, that might help. Swamp colours. Uh, I thought I saw a slime like instantly as soon as I did that, but uh, fortunately not. Hey, Will's on, although I can't really see how to right now. Uh, hello. We're good. While, and by a while, I mean ever since the UEP. Indeed. Oh, man. Oh, I have a question. Yeah, do you, do you James, you? It's, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> I just finished making a banner for Canada. Ah, good stuff. I watched your, Canada, watched your jitter clicking video. You claimed it was okay. slow, it wasn't. <laughs> So we've got some people trespassing on our property. Now I'm sure they're just passing through. Or maybe they legged it when they saw me log in. Anyway, so I had to take a break there, played some UHC, and I'm back. And what we're trying to accomplish here is we're trying to accomplish this door. So we're doing a bit of redstone. I want to create a door here that... Uh, allows this bookshelf to get moved back and then I go in and I'm in my uh, my like storage room. Uh, I kind of want to do it in the middle one just for symmetry's sake because why not? Also because it's more slightly slightly more difficult. Let's see if we can pull this off. Okay so I've gone for a different idea now. We're gonna have the door here instead because having it in the center was slightly challenging and I have neither the time or patience to uh, attempt to make it work. Uh, so that's what we're going for. If I can just do that. So it's like that. Oh, it, it, it only went for the, the top one. Let's bring it around here. There we go. That, that should do it. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's too quick, so we're going to have to add in some repeaters. I actually prefer it when there's stone brick below the redstone. No idea why. But, or 
anything but just like a regular material. So if it, it, it could be wood or it could be just something other than the material, the base material by which I'm with that I'm using. In fact, you know what? Let's let's make it go out here. That way we can get three of these in. Let's do that, do that. Alright. Oh, that was quite, that was too Okay, yeah, it does work. Issue is now we gotta go out the other we gotta go back the way as well. So we really need to consider how we're gonna make that work. Okay, I think I've got something going here. Um Oh dear, I didn't realise that there was a block missing there. We can do that. I'm not convinced we can place a block there. Let's see what happens. Alright. So, to go through. Yeah, okay, we do that. And then we got a bus in here. Okay. We get through like that. Now, the wiring, which I've just covered over, is very basic. I can see if I break through here. As I, as, as I showed, this is the one to get through. So you just open the chest. And we've got... It's not a secret door. It's not supposed to be a secret door. It's just a door, you know. So I don't care if people know. Um, but yeah, as you can see, torch inverts the signal. So we've got a low, row of repeaters on four tick delays. Um, we've got the redstone here powering both the uh, pistons. And in order to get the door to open from the other way, we've got a button here. And that links to some redstone which comes all the way around here behind this wall to here. And that basically activates uh, the torch from the side, as demonstrated here. And that opens it, as you can see. So that is that. Pretty happy with that redstone. And it's covered over pretty nicely. So we can simply add back our bookshelves. We've got our enchanting table. And there we go. Almost seems the door's open for longer on the way out. Which is fair enough. So this is where my storage room is going to go. It's not going to be like an amazing storage room, but it'll be uh, decent. It'll do its job, I think, like for now. Um, that's all, all I really care about. So I just went to zero, 00 in the nether. Could not find the portal to go to spawn. So we're just going to have to take our path there and see if we can investigate where it is. Well, it seems like the portal at spawn is now non-existent. It was here, it's no longer here. There's a zombie with a enchanted sword, which he didn't drop. Uh, I just want to make reference to this bridge that I saw earlier. It looks pretty nice. Don't no idea who built it, but it looks really nice, and it does do the job of getting a player across the water. So that's quite good. Uh, but yeah, cannot find the portal. Hmm. So as you can see, I found the zero zero portal. And it has been extinguished, which is quite interesting. So, the mystery continues. Who did this? What was the intention behind it? Was it a criminal act? Or was it just an act of misjudgment? Who knows? Whoever knows. Alright, I have somewhat completed the storage room. Um, this was a cake that I baked to get the cake achievement. Now let's... Gobble it up. Mm. Alright, there we go. Um, so yeah, this is what I've done. Uh, let's get through before it shuts. I've added a lot of crafting tables and furnaces just for the looks. I mean, it, it doesn't look good, but whatever. It's more for the wow, fa the wow factor, I guess. Uh, let's... We just need three more. So yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Ah, uh, we've got the clock at the far end here. And we got some lighting above it. Uh, the ceiling, yeah, we could do something different, but I'm happy with how it is at the minute. We got light here to prevent mobs from spawning in this corridor. Uh, and yeah, we've got the chests arranged in the same way as I normally arrange them. But anyway, thank you for 
watching uh, this episode. Sorry, it's been a wee bit weird, and sorry if the audio has dropped in quality uh, quality towards the end. I, I just couldn't be bothered uh, loading up Audacity to record my voice, so I just did it off the recording software. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day, and I will see you when I see you.